I didn't cast an action star to start with, because if I had, I suppose I would have gone around looking for somebody like Steven Seagal or, or whatever. What I looked for was somebody that I would believe would be in the emotional uh, jams that this character uh, gets himself into. Uh, and so I was looking for a guy who convinced me as um, a uh, somebody who was not able to obey an order, who was instinctively rebellious, um, who was tough and resourceful, and above all, relied only on himself. Those were very important qualities. And then I wanted somebody who would make you believe that he loved his adopted father beyond his own life, which was very, very important because he's then, within the first 15 minutes of the movie, he's accused of, of murdering his father, which sets a whole lot of things on uh, going. So I needed somebody who could be an emotional, I needed a proper actor who would, would show you a great range of emotional colors. Um, and then, because this thing is a huge epic and a vast general entertainment with all sorts of, uh, of things, there's comedy and there's adventure and there's uh, magic and um, uh, uh, action, fighting, all sorts of, of stuff going on, he had to be able to do the, uh, the action hero stuff. But that didn't come first with me. What came first was his ability to be to attract an audience with his heart, with what he clearly was feeling. Then what he did was to work like I've never seen anybody work, to make himself into this. And because he's young and fit, he's a brilliant rider. Um, he didn't know much about swords, but then nor did I. We had a lot of very good people to teach him. And he simply worked and worked and worked. And what about Gemma? Why was she the right choice? Well, I was originally looking for I thought that I would go to Bollywood for that character because I wanted her to be very exotic and I wanted her to, to be in not anything like the same universe as Dastan, as Jake's character. They, want, they, they had to be s split, a uh, whole different value system. And I was looking at Iranian actresses and Israeli and Egyptian um, all around the, um, uh, the Middle East and North Africa. And I was starting to watch um, the great young actresses from Bollywood. And then just in the normal way of things, Gemma walked in three months out of Rada. You know, she'd done almost nothing. Um, but I thought that she was absolutely great. She was a classically trained actress. She was full of curiosity and, uh, and energy because she hadn't done any work yet and she longed to, uh, to, 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 to be this. And I could believe her as this lovely, exotic, complicated girl. She had to be a, a priestess as well as a princess. Uh, and I felt that she would have the emotional range to do that. What sort of a Persia, um, ancient Persia, did you put together visually? Right. Well, um, Jerry, when he gave me the script, sent me a book, um, which was, uh, it's called The Orientalists, and it's about mainly French painters who were salon painters. They spent their time in Paris painting portraits of this, that, and the other. If you wanted your racehorse painted, you could take, you know, get these guys along, they would do you a job. But they, of course they got bored with that and they wanted to test themselves against a whole different kind of life and a whole, they wanted to re-educate their eyes. And they went to the Near and Middle East. They, they went to Egypt and they, they went to Saudi Arabia and they went to Persia and Afghanistan, all of that kind of stuff. And they came back with this very exotic stuff. Um, uh, you know, the light was very different from European light. The architecture, the whole, um, the, 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 the characters that you could see on the, uh, um, in, in the, the, the paintings. And that was very important for me. And I then thought, I wonder what's left. I wonder what it's actually like today. And I started to do photographic research. Um, and I got very, very 
interested in modern Afghanistan, which in fact, I was looking at books of, great big books of photographs, taken only 20 years ago, um, but which could have been sixth century. Um, and then of course I researched the weapons and the, um, uh, the, the sort of, the, the, all of it, the politics, the lot, the way they lived. Um, and I, that's, that feeds me. I, I get a lot of stuff out of that, you know? Um, so I had, a, I had a very good time and it, it felt to me as if we were getting some real texture in the thing. How would you describe the film? What is the genre? The genre is epic entertainment, um, which is very much what Jerry does. Um, the genre is Jerry. One of the reasons I was interested in it was that you know, I've, I'd never come up against a genre in which the, the principal inventor of it was still alive and kicking, was there and vigorous and still producing, and there he is. Um, and so, uh, of course, what interested me was how varied this whole thing was, so that you got, you got the, um, the kind of thriller story, the mystery about the dagger and who was the bad guy and who was the good guy. You got the comedy. Um, you had uh, action and combat, um, romance, um, and on and on. And these colors lay one on top of another on top of another until you had a kind of collage of, so there was never a moment where the thing stood still. There was never a moment where it wasn't developing and saying, hey, look at this over here. Wow, yes, there's that. And then something over here would say, come and look at me. And you would, um, it was uh, a Pandora's box of gorgeous stuff, you know.